a less fun question. I'm sure you heard the news that Jared Kushner has a private email. Uh, and I'm curious if you have some thoughts about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, again, in the book, I have a whole chapter. If you still have questions, um, I hope yes. you will read it because so much of it was um, overblown, untrue, uh, really aimed to score political points, which it did. And uh, I take responsibility for it. You know, I say it was a dumb mistake, but it was a dumber scandal. And uh, our country, uh, you know, had to go through it, uh, which I regret. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I feel like, you know, people can read this and understand and have their questions answered. And the hypocrisy of this administration, who knew there was no real scandal, who knew that there was no, uh, you know, basis for all their hyperventilating, Republican members of Congress who politicized the deaths in Benghazi, which I thought was outrageous. Um, you know, we lose people, and it's a terrible thing whenever we lose anyone wearing the military uniform or serving in civilian, uh, civilian capacity around uh, the world. That's been going on for a long time, and they deliberately tried to uh, politicize the deaths of those four Americans. And now we're finding, uh, as with the latest revelations, that they didn't mean any of it. Right. It's just the height of hypocrisy. It right. is something that, um, if they were sincere about, I think you'd have Republican members of Congress calling for an investigation. I haven't heard that yet. I haven't heard that uh, either. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think we will. Um, it, it just goes to the uh, rank hypocrisy that uh, this. Trump campaign and now this Trump White House is engaged in. Uh, and it, in and of itself, it's bothersome, but I worry about what it means for the lives of Americans. And I go back to health care because mm -hmm. during the campaign, you know, Trump was saying, we're going to give you the greatest health care and we're not going to touch Medicare, we're not going to touch Medicaid. Well, then he wants to repeal and replace Obamacare with no alternative. And everything they have produced, and this latest one is the worst of all, mm -hmm. would, in effect, end Medicaid after a few years. What's going to happen to the, you know, the millions of families dependent upon Medicaid for nursing home care or for disability care or for any kind of community service or for anything that they have to get through the health care system. The, you know, the cruelty of that is even worse than the hypocrisy.